Hey guys, Rock here. Uh, it's December 27th, 2021. Uh, today I got a 2016 Arctic Cat Pantera 3000. <clears throat> we'll be doing a walk around and I'll take it for a quick test drive. Uh, unfortunately, our trails are not open yet here in Vermont, but uh, but we got a little bit of snow and I'll, I'll take it around the property and we'll try her out. So yeah, it's actually, it's a pretty good looking sled, I think, you know, for a touring. It's got an aggressive front end. <clears throat> it's got the uh, two up seat. Which is uh, removable quickly. You just pull these little latches and it comes up. Also this backrest can uh, be loosened and it can be used for the driver, which is pretty handy. Loosen that up, just pull that up, turn that back, and you can set it wherever you want. So that does work pretty nicely on this. But um, yeah, uh, this model comes with uh, heated seats, front and rear, also um, heated handle grips for the driver and passenger. This is, yeah, like I was saying, it's the 3000. So it, uh, it's the four stroke, four stroke model, uh, 700 CC twin, inline twin. They claim about 65 horse on this thing. So it's no speed demon, but, uh, we'll try it out. This thing is, like I said, it's a 16, so it's five years old but it's practically brand new. It's got, uh, this is the gauge, if I remember how to use it. It's only got 482 miles on it. And 33 hours on the engine. So it's uh, practically new. Um, you got a temp gauge, voltmeter, fuel gauge. That's it there. Then here you can change your um, RPMs. What are you gonna do here? I'm gonna go through here. Okay, once you're on your RPMs, you can swap this from RPMs at the top to <clears throat> your speed. So, here's that. Um, go ahead and take a peek at the motor real quick. The panel just pops off, so that's the engine in there. Compact clutches belt. Um, so yeah, um, I'll throw that back on. All right, and uh, this thing does have a nice storage box on the back here. It's pretty handy. Loosen all these wraps up. Pull this off. That whole thing is storage in there. So you get a lot of room to store stuff in your little tool bag. But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's uh, hop on this thing and try it out. Alright, so we'll hop on this thing. And, uh, we'll go ahead and start it up. Very quiet engine, especially when it's idling. Um, watch the temp. So on the left side of the handlebar here, you get your hand warmer, thumb warmer, high and low, the reverse, which is a mechanical, electric mechanical. This thing does vibrate quite a bit. This is a extra large windshield. So you can put um, the little pins in here, but it's not matted in the hood. So that's why that's making a little noise. But your heat, heated seat, high and low and off. Let's try her out. So one thing you'll notice with this thing is it is got very good low end. It just takes off effortless, effortlessly. I think it engages around 2,000 RPMs. The most noise is actually in the track. <laughs> so it's still, it's a little cool. I had it running before, but 
it's at 136 degrees, which this thing usually runs around 170 for normal temps. So I'll take it easy on it. We'll do a couple uh, top speed runs um, in the field here when we get it fully warmed up. Now this, this is a big machine. This is, I believe, a 146 track. It's got a one inch lug on it, no studs. Handlebars are actually raised up nice and high. Now this, with this four stroke engine, it's got very aggressive engine braking, is what I call it. No, they don't consider it engine braking, I don't think, but to me, that's engine braking. When you let go, it doesn't freewheel. But, yeah, these low snow conditions aren't great, but a good thing about this sled is, you know, it's a great utility sled, um, trail sled, whatever you want to use it for, but it does have, uh, it's got a, a radiator, it's got, it's got a tunnel cooler, or, you know, in front of your track that cools off the sled like normal, but it's also got a radiator with a built-in fan, so it'll regulate its temperature if it gets too hot and there's not enough snow to cool the coolant down, which is very handy. Like I said, this does have very good low-end power. It takes off great. But quarter throttle to full throttle, not a whole lot of difference. I'm not sure the top speed. We'll, uh, we'll try it out in the field. I don't have a super long, long run, but we'll see what we can get it up to. And uh, go from there. It's a comfortable ride. Um, we got a lot of bumps in the trail too, and uh, it's actually a very comfortable ride. You reverse right here. It's a little, uh, I know you don't want to hit it when you're driving, but it's kind of hard to get to with the gloves because it's so recessed. You can get it with the gloves, but it's just showing you, you know, I can push hard there. You kind of do, got to do it with the end of your glove. Take up. Uh, get off here and take a look at the sled again. Like I said, this thing is practically new. Not many miles on it. But, uh, all right, we'll, get, we'll see what we can do in the field. If if you're buying a sled. You know, this is a 65 horsepower sled, or so they claim. Um, I've heard it might be even a little less than that, but if you're buying a sled for trails and you're going to be running, you know, 80 miles an hour, <laughs> this probably won't do it. But, uh, you know, if you like traveling slow, this machine loves to run, you know, 15, 20 miles an hour. It, you can pretty much go as slow as you want with this sled. And it, uh, I don't like these rocks, but it's not going to complain. You know, that's where it wants to be. It's, uh, that's what, yeah, you can just putt right along on this thing. But, uh, we'll see if we can do, we'll see if she can handle the high speed. Steering. I actually thought it was going to be a little heavier, um, so that's good. Still, it's not light to steer, but it's not outrageous. So. Uh, I forgot to put my, uh, forgot to plug my windshield in, so I have to lift that up for a minute. See, right now it's right, it's uh, running about 174 degrees, and I think that's what it stays around as long as you're in the snow. Now, if you just let it sit there and idle, it's uh, it'll get up to 190 or so before the fan will kick on, or 180 something. 
but that is a handy feature especially of course your track still needs snow but it's good to know that you can leave this thing idling go out back here I do like the fact that this thing yeah it's got a very smooth takeoff a lot of these four strokes um, I've noticed when you're driving them you hear pretty much all the other noises going on you can hear the track the clips everything I mean just I, I wouldn't want to be going this slow <laughs> with that two stroke it's pretty nice but, but then again I like speed so we'll see if it can handle that um, but yeah what I was saying was you know you hear all your idle wheels everything turning with this thing which is kind of annoying but the, no the noise is still there with the two stroke you just don't hear it because the motor is loud but uh, all right anyways we're out in the field let's see uh, what we can do here we're up to temp so I'll start down here I can tell top speed is not gonna be great <laughs> Stop right here. That's full throttle. A little bit of track spin, not a lot. We got uh, 46, 45. With that nice long track, it is able to slow down good. Nice and easy. That was with the track, so let's go off track here. See what we can do. <laughs> well, she's not a quick sled. It can definitely do more than that. This is, on, you know, this is not on a hard pack, but that is full throttle right here in the field. So, try her one more time. This long, please. With a track already packed. But this is full throttle. Still very quiet. You hear the wind more than anything. Yeah, I don't even think I hit 50. We'll have to see what it says on the GPS. You guys will be able to see it, but I can't see it until I look back at my video. But so yeah, if, if you're looking to go, you know, if, even if you're traveling 50, 60 miles an hour on these trails. You're going to be almost wide open. Like I said, there's really not a lot of difference going in a quarter throttle. <laughs> or just barely. You'd be going 30, 35 to full throttle. There's just not a lot. A lot of low-end power. A little bit of mid-range. And just not much top end at all on this girl. But that's not what it's made for. If you want the top speed, you get the bigger Pantera. The one with the Yamaha motor. This is a Kimco built engine. They use it in uh, the Wildcat. The Articat Wildcat side by side. Oh, but yeah, she's running a little warm, 183. Of course, we're getting onto her pretty good. But uh, yeah, well, anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.